Welcome to this quick video on how to burn an ISO image onto a DVD or CD. Now if you have opened a DVD or CD on your computer and you've actually viewed all the files, you're going to see a bunch of folders. In these folders may have an executable file, music files, languages, and inside the folders might even have some more. Now an ISO image is actually all of those files taken and compressed into one single file, so it's easy to transport whether it's over a flash drive or it's over the internet you just have to take that one single file so I have an ISO image that I downloaded from ubuntu.com and I'm gonna burn this to a CD which I have already placed in my CD drive now I'm gonna be using active ISO burner to burn this uh, you can download it I will leave a link in the description so let's begin uh, let me launch active ISO burner and it opens and searches for connected drives now the first thing that they ask for is the source or the path of the image that you want to burn to your DVD so that's on my desktop right here so I'm going to select that I'm going to click on this little button right here and it's going to open up a browser window I'm going to navigate to my desktop and select my image, my ISO image next they're going to ask you for target and I and these have several options. The first one being the device. Um, I only have a one DVD drive attached to my PC, so I automatically select that by default. They're asking you for mode. Now these are pretty much mode is an advanced option. Um, you can leave it at set to track at once. Don't uh, change that option yes just yet. Leave it um, default. Speed you have auto select. 16, 24, 32, and 40. I'm going to leave it on auto select. Uh, the higher you go, is is you won't have better quality of a DVD uh, because it increases the burning speed and the, the data may have been written in a hurry. So if, if you want a higher quality DVD, you set it to a lower speed. X16 being the lowest. I'm going to leave mine on auto select and the copies you want, well I just want one copy next um, you click on burn and the burning process of your ISO begins um, this can take anywhere between 10 minutes to a half an hour depending on the size of the ISO image that you burn however the image that I am burning is fairly small and is expected to take between two to three minutes to burn so I thank you guys for watching this video today and I hope I helped you um, understand a little bit more about burning an ISO image S so thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel and peace out